Okay, everybody. I just recently saw Godzilla. Um, I know it's been I'm, I'm pretty late for this review, but whatever. I'm gonna deal with it. Um, so yeah, so Godzilla uh, was pretty much the uh, well reboot of the entire franchise, and um, it's an all new 2014 version. Uh, and and this Godzilla is like a CGI. A big giant monster fighting these other two well, CJ monsters, uh, and and I will say this: I haven't seen every single Godzilla film out there. I have seen very few of them. I've seen the original uh, 1950s version with Godzilla. Um, I think it was called uh, 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 what was it called? Gojira. I think it was called that. Yeah, yeah, Gojira. I've seen, and I've also seen. Uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla, I've seen that one, and I've also seen uh, Destroy All Monsters, I've seen that one too. I haven't seen, well, any other ones besides that one, but, you know, um, there's been quite a bit of movies of Godzilla. I mean, there's, there's like, endless movies of those, uh, of that franchise. There's, like, endless movies of that. So, but this film really is good. I think it has a really good cast, like, with Brian Cranston, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, I thought that the, these three did a really good job in their roles, especially Aaron Taylor Johnson's character, Ford. Um, I believe it's Lieutenant Ford Brady. And um, he, he was good in this film. I mean, he was really, really good. Especially, Gry uh, well, uh, Brian Cranston's character. Uh, I thought that he was really, really good in the film. I thought that he should have had a little bit more screen time than he did. But, but, but from what you get from him, it's pretty, pretty cool. But from, what you get from him, but the most, uh, but the most character that really stood out to me the most, I thought that this was the character that really stood out to me the most, but didn't have as much screen time. And um, and that was uh, um, uh, oh yeah, and that was Elizabeth Olsen's character, Elizabeth Olsen. She was an interesting. Character. I thought that her character was really, really, really in, incredibly interesting. I thought they could, well, well, they should have focused more on her character because, like, her character will seem like, oh, it, it, it's like, like, so interesting. I, I really enjoyed her character the most. Um, and I, I do believe that her character was part of, like, a nurse or something like that. Well, she was playing a nurse. And, and her character. Um, I do believe that she was also the wife of Ford Brady, Lieutenant Ford Br uh, Brady. Um, so, well, that was pretty cool. I, I like that um, that part. And uh, yeah, um, overall, it's a really cool movie. But people really compare this movie to. Uh, I mean, why they compare this movie to Pacific Rim? There was a lot of people that compare this movie to that movie. It's nothing like that movie at all. I don't know why why people. Well, a, a lot of people, I mean, there's tons and tons of critics that compare this movie to Pacific Rim. And Chris Stuckman, and I watched this video, he said this exact same thing, that there were a lot of critics out there that, well, well that's this movie, oh, there's not too much of Godzilla, uh, hey, this movie's not as good as, uh, uh, what was it called again, Pacific Rim, that this movie's not as good as uh, that film. Is that too much Godzilla? And I will admit that there's not a whole lot of Godzilla in this movie. That was kind of a big disappointment for me, too. But I could live with it because it was just a kind of a first kind of build-up kind of story. And uh, there is a, a, well, quite a bit of a character depth. I thought that they could have a little bit more character depth. But but from what we got, it was pretty good. I mean, it was pretty fine. And I don't like, I don't know why people uh, compare this movie compare this film to Pacific Rim. It has nothing to do with that film. Even though there's monsters and stuff like that, doesn't mean it's like that film. And Chris Duckman said that exact same thing in his review of Godzilla. But yeah, I loved, well, not really loved, but I liked this movie a lot. I just don't think it's amazing. I wasn't amazed by it. Um, I did, but there were some really intense moments of these two monsters and Godzilla I mean, there was like this really nice wide shot of Godzilla fighting these two monsters. I mean, it's pretty epic. I thought that, that was handled beautifully, and I thought, but but it was really good. Um, 
well, cinematography, and it's, I mean, this movie, I mean, the images are just, are really good. I mean, it has great imagery. I will say that this movie has some really, really good imagery and some really, really good cinematography and some really, really good action, but not as much as you, you would expect, but don't go into this movie expecting, like, tons and tons of, uh, of, of Monster Slam Down because you're going to be really disappointed by that. There's not a whole lot of Monster Slam Down like well, Godzilla would do, but there's not a whole lot of uh, action, but there is, like, towards the end, of course, but, you know... Yeah, but I do like this film, just not as much as everybody else, so I'm, I'm going to give Godzilla a B. Um, I know the people are going to say, why why give it a B, man? Well, give it an A, give it an A+. Plus. Well, hey, um, I'm not going to follow the crowd. I'm going to say what, how I feel. This is how I feel about the film. I think it's a good movie. I just don't think it's anywhere amazing. Um, I just think it's a really, really good time at the movies, um, and I believe you suggest seeing it if you haven't. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time, and I'll see you guys, um, well, yeah, I'll, um, I'll definitely catch you guys later, so I'll see you later. And I, I will have another review up very soon, so stay tuned for that.